Hello beloved brethren, today is the 5th of May 2021 here in Australia and I pray we are all standing steadfast, Amen. Um, I just wanted to speak on the dream that the Father gave on the 23rd of April uh, 2021 where I saw the, a letter uh, written and it was um, the signature was Elijah and the voices that I heard were discussing talking about Elijah <clears throat> um, and the words that I understood in the English language were I don't know how they don't know okay so there would be a multitude of course of people who would um, you know say basically that um, this means nothing uh, and they would come up with many reasons why um, having a dream about a letter written by Elijah means nothing so it's not every day that a believer in Christ is given a dream of a written letter signed with the signature of Elijah and hearing voices speaking about Elijah I don't think that any of us could say yes that is a common occurrence for myself I didn't even know that this the scripture that Elijah had written a letter so I was ignorant that there was a letter written by Elijah uh, in God's Word so unless the father showed the dream then I would not have known at all and again I think many of us would agree that it is not a common occurrence to be shown a dream of a letter written and signed by Elijah okay so as I said that was given on the 23rd of April so on this channel we know that we on the 10th of April we shouted Michael declared and Satan was cast down though albeit has not manifested in the natural as yet so the dream of the letter written by Elijah and the, the, the place in scripture where that account is given is in 2 Chronicles 21 12 now though those numbers are highly significant highly significant But we see now if you do any um, you know I can leave a link well I think I can it seems that if people leave links the comments don't show up so I'll attempt to leave a link if not I would encourage you to do research yourself on a letter written by Elijah and the, there is you know disputes uh, with um, scholars um, over the chronological um, events and there is a question mark you know how did Elijah write a letter 
to Jerome when Elijah would have already been taken up in the whirlwind. So the thing, the point is, of course, as we know, is that Elijah is a prophet of God and Elijah, God would have told Elijah prior to him being taken up because as we know, Elijah knew beforehand he was going to be taken up. So did Elisha know that his um, I'm not sure what he refers to him as, master, something, was going to be taken up. So, of course, God gave Elijah the words prior to Jerome ruling. And the letter was sent, either delivered by Elisha or someone else delivered it. Um, you know, however... It occurred the point is is that Elijah was given the words of God being the prophet of God he wrote them down and the prophecy came to pass after woods so the father showing the dream of Elisha and the letter, the writing, which was signed by Elisha, was given to me so that we would be encouraged, amen, that there is a period of time for God's words to manifest. So speaking, okay, spiritually speaking, we are born of the Spirit, first and foremost. That is who we are. We are no longer flesh and blood. We are born of the Spirit. The, the enemy wants to completely ridicule the gifts of the spirit so that people don't believe the power of the spirit of God in Christ in the believer so he will always cast doubts and so we have many voices out there who will say that this is ridiculous you know ridiculous You underestimate the power of the Spirit of God in Christ in the believer. Amen. It is the Spirit that teaches us all things. It's not man that teaches us all things. So your flesh and your blood, it cannot receive the things of the Spirit. Only the Spirit can teach us anything and this is why I believe a lot of people have difficulty with receiving that we are archangels because the flesh and blood rejects it amen but it's all in God's Word and it's a beautiful magnificent picture when you see it the four living creatures, the four wheels, the Ark of the Covenant, the, the menorah. Now, the menorah is for the churches. Amen. The seven churches. And the menorah is an ark. And it is the seven churches. It is with our Lord Jesus Christ in the midst. And it is an ark. It's, it's not a straight line. It's an ark, and yet people reject and, and persecute 
poor humble seeker and myself, which I don't really care about, but you're actually rejecting what the Father is showing through his word, because it's all in his word, but it is the spirit that will teach us all things. Amen. And quicken within us to understand. So my point being is that it was the spirit that showed the dream of the letter from Elijah, signed by Elijah, to show us that there is a period of time for manifestation of God's Word. Amen. And that is where we are at the moment. Amen. So I left a community post and I spoke of Exodus 16, Numbers 9 and Numbers 10, the significance of two days. And once again, that is from the dream that the Father showed of the whirlwind of dust and the voice that came out of the whirlwind of dust said two days. So the Father took me to Exodus 16, Exodus 9, and we can see that they correlate because of the 15th day of the second month and the 14th day of the second month. These, there's a little spider. Um, go away. These um, scriptures lead us to 6, 7 and the 8th of May. And I believe that the 6th to the 8th of May is highlighted greatly by our Father. And when I wrote my post yesterday um, to highlight these days for us to watch for something. After I wrote my post, the spirit quickened within me and I heard Israel bombed. And that is why I left another post to say this is what the spirit has said. Now, do I know that Israel is going to be bombed? Is that a thus saith the Lord? No, it is not. It is something that I heard in my spirit. We are going to watch, of course, to see what occurs. That is what we do. Amen. We watch. Amen. What I say to ye, I say to all watch and that is what we are doing amen glory hallelujah praise the name of our lord jesus christ amen and god our father in heaven amen so i pray that this encourages you beloved brethren because spiritually speaking to receive a dream of a letter written by elijah signed by elijah is not a common occurrence. Amen. So our Father wants us to know that there is a period of time for the manifestation of His Word. And once again, if you're skeptical and you doubt, just do a little bit of research into you know what the scholars say about Elijah writing a letter to Jerome who ruled after Elijah was taken in the whirlwind. Amen. And of course the words that Elijah were given is judgment 
on 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 those Israel is a whore <laughs> she is the whore she has broken God's heart she was his wife she is mystery Babylon Jerusalem mystery Babylon broke our father's heart and went whoring fornicated with other gods idols and unspeakable wickedness worshipped Satan not the one true God Amen and so judgment will come and this is also why the father showed the dream of Elijah writing a letter Thus saith the Lord God of David thy father, because thou hast not walked in the ways of Jehoshaphat thy father, nor in the ways of Asa king of Judah, but hast walked in the way of the kings of Israel, and hast made Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem to go a whoring, like to the whoredoms of the house of Ahab, and also hast slain thy brethren of thy father's house, which were better than thyself. Behold, with a great plague, with the Lord, will the Lord smite thy people and thy children and thy wives and all thy goods, and thou shalt have great sickness by disease of thy bowels, until thy bowels fall out by reason of the sickness day by day. And moreover, the Lord stirred up against Jerome the spirit of the Philistines and the Arabians that were near the Ethiopians. So basically, the enemies of Israel will be stirred up and come against Israel. And judgment, judgment will fall. Amen. So this is why the father showed the dream of Elijah writing a letter. Amen. I love you all, beloved brethren. Stand fast. Our Lord Jesus Christ is coming for his bride. Amen. And we are going home. Amen.